Hey everybody, this is Sparhawk, and welcome back to another episode of Persona 4. So guys, the game is trying to get us to study, we're gonna have finals next week, but, uh, you know what? I actually think uh, we're pretty smart enough as it is, let's go ahead and check it out here. Alright, our knowledge is at rank 4, that is definitely good enough. I think we only need rank 3, maybe, maybe rank 4, to be able to um, actually do the best in the finals that we possibly can. So, we don't have to worry about that, we're quite smart as we are. So let's go ahead and make lunch for tomorrow. Do you guys remember last week, um, or I should say last episode, uh, Nanako told us that she had went grocery shopping, so... Let's make for lunch for tomorrow, and I don't get too excited, guys, because... The person we're having lunch with... <sighs> Seriously. Alright, so we're gonna make some cream caramel. I guess that's how you say that? Cream? I don't know. You made the base with egg, milk, sugar, and other ingredients. How should you give it some scent? Hmm... Vanilla ice cream? I think that would smell delicious. Cologne, I think that's fucking retarded. Vanilla extract, okay. So basically, this is one of the few times in the game where they don't like actually give you real options. It's just like, it's fucking obvious what you're gonna choose. Well, I shouldn't say obvious, because like, <laughs> I'm sure somebody out there chose the vanilla ice cream like, damn, I didn't get it. So we'll go with the uh, vanilla extract. Extract, blah, whatever. It is done to perfection. Obtain smooth cream caramel. In addition, you made bait times three. Sweet, we knew more baiting. Love me some baiting. Lunch break. You brought your lunch today. Do you wish to eat lunch with someone? Oh, who are we gonna invite? Nobody here. Others. Nope. Sorry, Kanji. Others. Ooh. <laughs> nope. Others. Yeah, it's Yumi. Ah, she's not that bad. I just like to bitch a lot about it. It could definitely be worse. Yasugami, Yasugami High Rooftop. Eat the smooth cream caramel together. Mmm. Oh, this is tasty. It's definitely better than a microwave dinner. I think I like men who know how to cook. Do you think you could make something for me next time too? Thanks a bunch. It's Yumi's favorite. You feel that your relationship is going to become closer soon. Oh yeah. Alone on the rooftop. Cream caramel all over our bodies. Mr. Kondo, a sigh. You all seem really sad. I know, it's tough. I still can't believe Mr. Moroka was taken from us. The faculty office is still in shock, too. But we can't sob about it all day. Today, we're gonna put the physical back in education. We're gonna play rugby. and Don't even think about getting lazy because it's hot. I know some of you probably don't know how to play, but don't worry, Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't space out, Charlie. I've got a question for you. What does Rome wasn't built in a day mean? Really? Really, that's... Man, we're getting two obvious questions in a row. And it takes time. Excellent! Of course, keep trying would have, would have been close. You can't give up before you build your empire. Keep at it. By the way, that proverb was originally written in French. Mr. Hosoi told me that. What a great proverb. I just might put that on the test. Don't forget it! Alright, so we answered correctly. Knowledge up. So yeah, one more rank in knowledge, we're gonna max it out, guys. It does take a long time and a lot of knowledge knowledge ups to get that, so... Um, we're still waiting for more information in the investigation. Apparently, um, somebody, there's a suspect, but they haven't caught him yet. So, anyway, what are we doing today? I don't know. Hmm. Let's go wander around. Um, you know what? Actually, let's go hang out with you, Kiko. I think she's down here. Yukes. Oh, there you are. Hey, girl. Oh. 
Okay, so this isn't actually gonna get us a rank up. We aren't quite that far with her yet, uh, but it's gonna... Next time we talk to her, we will get a rank up. So this is a, a good example of what happens whenever you don't have enough points with that person to bump up to the next rank. All right, so we spent some time walking around with Yukiko. Yep, relationship sooner, okay. I know we rarely see those guys, but this is, this is one of those times. I am. Okay, so what are we doing today? Uh, let's hang out. No, Dojima, you're you look busy, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and. It's a Wednesday. It is Wednesday. All right, so we can be, we can go check out the uh, the nurse at the part-time janitor work job. And of course, we have Incubus, the really fucked up giant penis demon. Which apparently is the male version of a succubus. I don't remember who told me that, but props to you. Um, oh, I think it was Micro Welliger is who told me. You busily cleaned the recently vacated hospital room. Alright, courage up as usual. And sassy nurse is here to talk to us. Nice work. Were you waiting here for me? Oh, you sweet thing. Well then, would you like to <laughs> study with me? Perhaps a subject that they don't teach in school, if you catch my drift? <laughs> so, the answer, don't, don't say please by all means. Despite your urges, don't say that. It's either one or two, what do you mean, or I'm not interested. So, um, what, what do you mean? Oh ho, you're an honest guy. That's cute in boys your age. Oh, she's looking me over. I don't find your type around here. The kids over here are much simpler. All they see is the carrot dangling in front of their faces. You're... I know. You seem to have some sort of secret deep inside you. Carrot dangling? What... Sayoko's a man. I think it's irresistible. Sayoko smiles in satisfaction. I'm just kidding, she's not a man. You can feel Sayoko's mischievous affection for you. Man, if she ended up being a dude... That would actually be pretty fucking awesome. <laughs> I'll see you again. Oh my. You finished your job and went home. So the cool thing is a lot of the stuff we've been doing lately is getting this money. So um, we're actually amassing a decent amount of money. It's not going to be enough to get us <laughs> any of the super cool equipment that we really need. I'm sure you're all feeling anxious knowing your homeroom teacher is deceased. Well, to be honest, us teachers are kind of afraid ourselves. The culprit is still on the loose. But there's no sense wasting time moaning about it. The bright, warm sun is shining on us. Let's get to work. Open your textbooks and find the excerpts from The Pillow Book. The fuck kind of book name is that? In fact, I just remembered there are a few passages about sunlight here, like one called In Spring It Is The Dawn. Interestingly, the term dawn has many meanings. For example, there's both civil and nat a nautical dawn. Charlie Chan. Here's a question for you, Nautical Dawn or Civil Dawn, which one's brighter? Hmm... Do you guys know what it is? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Oh god, oh god. It's totally Civil Dawn. And no, I wasn't looking it up, I, I did actually know that. Only because I'd played through this before. Yep, Civil Dawn is brighter. I'm surprised you knew. There really isn't that much difference, really. Nautical Dawn is when you can barely see the sunlight. Civil Dawn is when it's bright enough to distinguish objects. I'm gonna put this on next week's test. Make sure you memorize that. Okay, okay. By the way, my wife made this doll for me by hand. <laughs> you see what he said there, by hand? <laughs> I saw what you did there, sir. Don't you think she did a great job making it look like me? Sure. 
pretty fucking creepy, actually. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Okay, what to do today? What to do today? Man, this has been a very eventful couple of days. So... Sorry, I'm clicking around here. I forgot to have <laughs> my usual information displaying. Um, let's, um, let's go wander around a bit. Oh, wait! I knew what- there's been something that's been really bugging me. I was like, don't forget it, don't forget it. It's that damn quest at Fox's Quest. So, we need to take care of that right now. So, let's go into town. We need to find the guy who is afraid of cats. Uh, and I think he's at the Samagawa Floodplain? Maybe? Ah, that's something else I wanted to show you guys. There's actually a guy down here. And I think I might have shown him to you before, but we've never actually traded anything in. So it's the old man. He's the one who uh, who helped us get our fishing pole and everything. So um, if we show him the fish we caught, and we trade them in, we can actually get some cool stuff. So I would love to have this blessed hands. However, we don't have enough Amber Sema. Right now we only have two, so we're going to have to cancel that. Unfortunately, I would love to have Blessed Hands. I think it increases healing done by that person by 50%. You can imagine having that on Yukiko. It's fucking awesome. So, instead, we're actually going to go with a Bath Lid. You've got good eyes, boy. I only have one of these. How about one of your huge fish for this Bath Lid? Uh, let's do it. So, now Kanji is going to be using a bath lid as a weapon. Seriously, a bath lid. I fucking kid you not. So, let's go ahead and equip it. Kanji. So, I think he's using his original weapon. Still. So, it does 45 damage. This one does 198. However, the hit is really low. The accuracy of this thing, stupid low. However, if you guys remember correct, well, you probably didn't see me fighting a lot, but I basically rarely ever do normal attacks, which is okay. So the real reason why I want a high attack is because whenever you do an all-out attack, it does a uh, an average of every... Who's this dude down here? I, I couldn't do it. My Yumi. Huh. Anyway. So, it, it uses the average of everybody's attack stat to, do, to determine how much damage you do with an all-out attack. So, having a high attack, even though it misses a lot, is still really good. So, let's go ahead and go back into town. There's nothing... Oh, god damn it! I totally got sidetracked. Back to the Samagawa Floodplain. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I only wasted, like, you know, 10, 15 seconds of your life. Alright, this dude right here. Mayoko-san. Oh, did, did you hear that? <laughs> well, it, it's okay, right? People have the right to think of their beloved. <sighs> I'm getting married. The man seems melancholic about his wedding for some reason. Damn it, everything would have been great if it wasn't for him. What am I talking about? That horrendous furball. The... Ugh, I'm scared. I can't even say it. Those fang demons are terrifying. Is it a cat? Is it a cow? Is it a chupacabra? Chupa thingy. Um, <laughs> is it a cat? Ugh, D don't say the C word. Cunt. Sorry. I do. The man is actually physically trembling at the thought of cats. Perhaps he's the one who wrote the Emma request the fox showed you. He wants to overcome his fear of cats. The meowing and the whiskers and the evil little claws. It's just so scary. Of all the pets, miyoko san wants to have a c c cat. She said we can't get married if I won't let her have one. Ugh. Why must you put me through this horrible test, miyoko san Try and figure out a way to force him to overcome his fear. Uh, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter what you say here, but we'll just bring a cat here. So stop it! Stop that right now! What do you want? Money? I'll give you money, just get away from me! Wow. That dude is a giant pussy. No pun intended. 
<laughs> no, I meant to do that pun. <laughs> Alright, so... Basically, what we need to do with this dude is... I don't know if we need to do it now. Oh, we might as well go. It's there's a cat that hangs out in front of Charlie's house, and I never actually talked about this cat before. But, we'll... We'll see what's going on. So, there's a little kitty right here. Meow, mew, mew. There's a cat. Will you pet it? <laughs> I love... Oh my god, they have such a great sense of humor. Pet it, deny it pets. We're gonna go ahead and, um... We're gonna pet it. The cat has noticed you. Will it scratch you? Oh, it loves us. Actually, it wants to give it attention. Actually, it wants you to give it attention. Time will pass if you play with the cat. Will you spend the afternoon with the cat? No, we're gonna leave it alone. Basically, if you spend time with this cat, it increases your expression. That's, that's kind of the whole point of it. However, what we're gonna actually do... Let's talk to it again. Will you pet it? No, come to think of it, there is that man who is afraid of cats. He was so desperate he made a wish to be cured of his fears. Should you bring him here? We'll bring him here. You decided to bring the man who was terrified of cats here. Cat, cat, cat! It's watching me. It's waiting for me to turn around. It's coming for me. It's gonna jump on me. I'm gonna die. But, but, I'm a man. I, I'm prepared for death. All right, all right. Let me touch you. Ah, it's eating me. The man licked. The man was licked by the cat and ran away screaming. Wow, that that did not turn out well. That was unfortunate. So let's actually get back to what we were doing. So let's go into town. So I think tomorrow, if we talk to him again, uh, he will go try to pet the cat, and then the next day after that, we'll talk to him again, and then that's the end of the quest. So back to Yasugami High School. How are we doing on time? We're we're good on time. All right, Yosuke, where are you? I think he's on the second floor. He is. Yosuke. It's not like I've played this game eight fucking billion times. You should know by now where you're at. Yo! Hey, Charlie. Got a minute? I've got an offer I think you might be interested in. Yosuke seems desperate. Will we spend the afternoon with Yosuke? Hell yeah, we will. All right. Let's go. Bros forever, Brosuke. So what are we doing? What fun? Oh, this isn't fun. Gina's Grocery Department. This would be fun for Nanako, but... Eh. You agreed to help with the restocking after Yosuke begged you. Welcome! One and all! Choice Salmon! 59 yen a slice, just as advertised. Wow, that's 6 cents a piece? No, 60 cents a piece. That's still really cheap. And while you're at it, how about some cheese? Direct from Italy and just 298 yen for today only. Restock this shelf, too. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Charlie T to the rescue. Now oh, we got 5,500 yen for helping out. It's awesome. <sighs> Whew. I'm dead tired. They decided to sail at the last minute, and Dad was bugging me to find helpers. I told him I didn't have any time for that, but he wasn't listening. Thanks, but man. hey, I'm glad you were there. So, uh, you can say either no problem or it was fun. Don't say tell me next time. Um, yeah, it was fun, man. Huh? Really? Felt like nothing but a big pain to me. You're amazing. Oh, Hanamura. This is gaudy student. This can't be good. What's with the crowd today? It's way busy. If I'd known, I would have skipped out. Please don't. You got a bonus for today, right? Yeah, a whole 500 yen. 
says snooty student. What a bitch. I'm trying to save up. Give me a raise. Well, I don't think I can help you there. What's the point then? The two began talking nearby. They're talking very loudly. At this rate, my graduation trip will be somewhere in Japan. Maybe I should ask my parents to pay for it. Why don't you find a guy to pay? Haha, <laughs> like Saki did? Oh, Saki. Cue the sad music. Yosuke is biting his lip. Was it last year? Saki's elopement, I mean. Yep, apparently she got with a college guy who came home and went off with him. But she came right back saying she'd save money and leave on her own. Huh? You mean she was dumped? Who knows? She started working here to save money, didn't she? You know us high school girls can make easy money if we really want to. Mm-mm, girl, you bet. The pair's gossiping continues. What a bunch of whores. <sighs> it doesn't matter. It's just hot air. I'm not letting it get to me. It's sad to be talked about like that, though. Especially when you're dead. We're the only ones who can avenge Saki Senpai. We're special. We're the only ones. So, there's no need to bother with outsiders. Um, the actual correct answer here, <laughs> funnily enough, is, Man, you're mature. <laughs> Sorry, I totally got distracted. Yosuke is smiling sheepishly. I think it's good you came along. Because of you, I was able to make it this far. Yosuke is nodding firmly. You feel your relationship with Yosuke has grown deeper. What a pain. Oh, uh, n not you. I, I wonder what it is. I don't know. You spent time talking with Yosuke. Later, bro. Alright, back home. Welcome thank home. you, Nanako. And we're actually going to end it here, guys. Uh, once again, as always, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.